so I figured with this beautiful weather outside, I'd make a nice rant video just to keep things moving and let you guys know an opinion I have on a topic that's been asked several times. And a lot of people ask me this over message, but they either have a teenager who is just about to start driving or they are a teenager and they are driving and they're looking at getting their first truck. And the number one question I'm asked is, what type of truck should somebody look for as their first vehicle? Now, as anybody probably can imagine, that's a very difficult question to answer because I don't know everyone's financial situation. I don't know if they're being assisted with a parent on a cosign. I don't know if they have a good job or if they have any job at all. Maybe they have student loans. Maybe they're still in school. It's hard to really say. But what I'm going to try to do is at least give you my opinion on what I feel a good starting area would be for a pickup truck if it's going to be one of your first vehicles. First of all, I don't want you to go out and spend a lot of money on a brand new truck. I actually know people who get their first job working, you know, at either an installation company or they have some type of apprenticeship working for an HVAC company or maybe they work at a restaurant and they're starting to see a little bit of income come in. So the first thing they want to do is go out and buy a new car. And I highly advise against that. I don't care what kind of new car it is. I don't care what brand maker model, mainly because you are looking at getting yourself into financial debt that is extremely difficult to get out of when you buy a brand new car when you just start driving. The number one piece of advice I can give you right off the bat is to not shop new, find something that's maybe five, six to 10 years old and look for something that is well within the price range of what you can afford to pay off within a few years if you have to get a loan. Mainly because you don't want a car note that is going to be a significant portion of whatever income you have, especially if you're just starting off in life. Many of the jobs that you have are going to be entry-level jobs, and they may not be long-term jobs. They may not be your actual career yet. And you don't want to find yourself in a position of making pretty good money today and you know not making any money tomorrow. So you see that happen a lot. I personally know some folks who have gone out and bought brand new pickup trucks because they got a relatively good paying first job and they found three months later that they got a ticket or something happened and they lost that job. And when they lost that job, they lost the means to afford that high dollar item that they have and now they're carless or they're just destroying their credit while they find another job and not making payments on their vehicle. If I advise you to do anything, it's to really look at the budget you think you have now and realize that that budget may not be the same tomorrow or next month or the following month. And the point behind this is, you know, I could easily say go out and buy a $25,000 pickup truck, which is not a lot of money to spend nowadays on a new pickup truck or on a lightly used pickup truck that, quite frankly, is going to be a good, reliable truck. But twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars is really well beyond the means of most eighteen to twenty-one year olds. I would not suggest that you go out and buy any vehicle over ten thousand dollars. If you can find a pickup truck, if you can find a car or a vehicle that will meet your needs, isn't completely ragged out, doesn't require a lot of maintenance, doesn't appear to have been in any type of major accident, that's what I would suggest you start with. Now, another thing that a lot of young people do is they have developed brand loyalties over you know, the majority of their life. So they may have a relative or a family member who has been brand loyal to Ford, Chevy, or Ram, or Toyota, or Nissan, or whatever vehicle has been their preference for the last decade or two. Do not take those preferences and apply them to yourself at such a young age. If you have 20, 30 years of driving experience and you've chosen one specific make, model, or brand of vehicle because that's the one that suited you best over that lifetime, then you know what? By all means, be brand loyal. But when you're 18 years old, you really have no reference point of being brand loyal. What you should do is find any vehicle that fits the budget fits the conditions requirement, which means it hasn't been abused, it doesn't appear to have any major type of damage to it, it doesn't appear to have been an, an accident or been misused by the previous owner or owners, and you have as many service records on the vehicle as possible. And then look at the budget, look at how much you can afford to spend, 
and do your shopping based on that and do a lot of shopping. You know, I know somebody who wants one particular type of truck and it's been their dream truck and it's a certain package, certain color with a certain type of mild lift on it. And when you're hunting for that one particular vehicle, first of all, it's going to be difficult to find. Secondly, even if you do find it, you may be in the situation where you have to buy a truck that you're settling for, whether it has extremely high miles, whether it's had maintenance issues, whether it's been in a collision, and you're allowing your emotions to get you to buy something that's probably a really bad buy. What I want you to really focus on doing is getting a vehicle that is as reliable as possible as your first vehicle or as your first truck mainly because the last thing you want to do is get into a vehicle that you can afford you have a monthly payment on that's manageable your insurance on it is manageable and then you find out that one breakdown throws you under and you have no way of affording that breakdown you have an engine failure a transmission failure a suspension component failure an ancillary system failures such as an alternator or a power steering pump or you know, a belt tensioner, you have something that fails on the truck that is not anticipated in your budget, but because you spent more than you should have on a vehicle that you bought just out of pure emotion or brand loyalty, you're now stuck footing the bill for a vehicle that you can't afford. It threw you under. It was that thing that caused you to no longer be able to financially take care of a payment on that vehicle. So what I'm saying at the end of the day is when you are younger and you're getting into buying your first truck, focus more on reliability, focus more on cost, focus more on maintenance records, and really put brand at the back. Don't try to use brand as a reason to get a specific make model of vehicle, especially when it comes to used vehicles, because you just don't know how they were treated over their lifetime. If it's a 20 year old vehicle, it may have had four or five owners. It may have been in two or three accidents. It may have had some type of major maintenance lapse on it that caused some type of significant problem. And unless you have the history of all of that, your brand loyalty goes out the door because you just don't know what was done to that vehicle prior to you owning it. So anyways, at the end of the day, I think the most important thing to take away from this video is that as a first time shopper, keep your budget as low as possible, but at the same time, make sure you're trying to find a vehicle that's in the best possible condition, lowest possible mileage, and quite frankly, provides you the best fuel economy. When you are younger, the last thing you want to do is sacrifice food, sacrifice gas, and sacrifice your job just because you want a certain type of vehicle. Anyways, guys, this is just a driving rant. I hope you like the content. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.